Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how you can measure the input impedance and the output impedance of any circuit. Here we have a common collector amplifier using a PMP transistor. We are going here to measure the input impedance and the output impedance. First of all, you know that the input impedance Zn equals Vn over In. So here I will add a test voltage source and we are going to plot the voltage over current on, in order to get the value of Zn. So first of all, you are going to change the input source delete the values here choose none and add any value of AC amplitude in the small signal AC analysis I'm going to change the name of the source I will call it test and also the name of the node Now we are going to change the simulation settings. Click on simulate, edit simulation CMD, choose AC analysis. We are going to create an AC sweep, a frequency sweep between 1 kilohertz and 1 megahertz. Type of sweep, choose decade. Decade is a unit for measuring frequency ratios on a logarithmic scale. So it will increment from 10 power 0 to 10 power 1 to 10 power 2 to 10 power 3. The sweep from 1 kilohertz to 1 megahertz will be shown in one graph. Click on OK. Now run the circuit. Measure the voltage at the input, add the trace, V test over I test. Here we should uh, change the Y axis from decibel to linear. As we can see here, the Y axis unit changes to kilo ohm and the values are varying between 7.02 kilo ohm and 7.112 kilo ohm so the input impedance of the circuit is approximately 7.1 kilo ohm now we are going to do the same procedure for the output impedance move the load aside now Change the location of the test source to the output. And run the circuit. So here we can see that the output impedance of the circuit is between 40 ohm and 43.2 ohm. So it's approximately constant at 40 ohm. So the output impedance of the common collector circuit is 40 ohm and the input impedance of this circuit is 7 kilo ohm. 